As lawmakers prepare for a special session on the state's gas line project, some Alaskans are also preparing for how it will fit into their futures. KTV 11's Liz Rains is live in Akiski, one of the communities most impacted by the project. Liz, what's at stake? Well, Joe, Alexis, there's a lot of expectation building around this project here in town, including for some of its students. Underclassmen here at Nikiski High will be graduating by the time construction starts on the project's terminal four years from now, and some of them have high hopes for the jobs that project could bring. In this class, progress is something you can hold. It's a jalapeno popper um, cooker, so it's basically you stick your jalapenos into the holes and you then stick it on the grill. In just a few months, students go from holding a torch for the first time to digitally designing and welding appliances. This is Brittany Perry's first semester in welding class, but the sparks are already flying. I know there's not a whole lot of girls out there that would do stuff like this, and it's like, oh, I'm really going to get in there, get my hands dirty. Nikiski High is one of several schools on the Kenai Peninsula offering classes to prepare kids for futures in the oil and gas industry and for projects like AKLNG. With the LNG project coming, there's uh, looks like there may be big options for, for kids in this type of industry. And um, so they know that and a lot of them are aware of it. And so hopefully this can be a, a foundation to a skill that you know might be able to provide them with a job or a career someday. Through career and technical education classes like this one, the borough wants to build a pipeline of talent that will feed directly into the project's workforce. That looks like one of your better ones. Talent like Riker Rydell. A sophomore this year, he will have graduated by the time construction starts on the gas line. Even years away, the project is already on his mind. Well, LNG is coming, the oil fields, it's all good, good money. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking forward to. He and dozens of other students in the district will get certified in oil and gas industry skills by the time they graduate. So whether the project's ready or not, they will be. We're told the school's principal has already met multiple times with AKLNG representatives. The project is still years away, but if plans move forward as expected for the terminal here, thousands of jobs could be created during the five-year construction period. Joe Alexis. All right, thanks, Liz.